Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Tyrone Tan here from StarosNameIt.tv, and we're here with the lovelies. Sumaya Evan. And? Melissa Gregory Rue. Now, for the audience that does not know, tell the audience what brings you out to this wonderful Dances with Films Film Festival. Uh, we are having our world premiere of the feature documentary Live Out Loud that I directed and produced, and Sumaya is one of our stars in the documentary. Awesome. And what was it like being involved with this documentary? Well, I just found out that she was doing this down here in L.A. about, what, two weeks ago? Yes. Yeah, and um, I, when we got a hold of each other after ten years of not seeing each other, I said, I live in Venice after being homeless outside and destabilized for so long, over 25 years. And, um, and now I'm doing so good. I have my own apartment in Venice Beach, and I volunteer every day. And uh, I'm doing so good. Venice and Beach in California has done uh, me so right. And Venice Family Clinic. Awesome. Well, that's awesome to hear. Now, tell the audience that does not know a little bit about the film and what inspired you to do this film. Okay, so I was living in Portland, Oregon when I made this film 10 years ago. And um, a friend of mine had was with a, a group of artists who had a grant to teach filmmaking to people without homes. And at that time, uh, the people living on the streets were starting to really multiply, multiply, and things were getting really bad in Portland. And so I was fascinated because, you know, the basic necessities obviously are really important, food, water, shelter. But this program was about trying to help people regain their self-esteem I think even though I don't nobody ever said it that way but over time as I was as I was observing it really occurred to me this is what this is really about and we have to find a way to do that for folks who have experienced homelessness because there's so much trauma involved and in order to regain you know your in order to move on with your life I think it's really important for people to find a way to feel they're empowered, and that's what this program did. And what's it like being part of the Dance of the Film Festival? Is this your first year? Yeah, yeah, I didn't even really know what was going on, but I held in my heart dearly the, the art grant money we had been given from the Northwest, whether the film something or another, they gave us money and cameras, the homeless people, to make a film. And in it, I included a lot of my history of when I had been very successful and had been a very active community activist and wanted to get in touch with my, um, my family again, my two sons, Justin and Jake and my grandbabies, Gracie and Emma, who were just babies. So it, I don't know if that's going to be in your film. It is. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. they're 10 years <laughs> older now, and it's my dream to be able to get them in the electric light parade on Sunday nights in Venice Beach. That's what I want to come from this, and to be able to be as much of a benefit as I can to help homeless people and to get the, um, the family bond back. Well, it's inspiring that you guys are here. The show is ultimately about inspiring others. We want to inspire those. What inspirational messages can you give to someone out there that maybe wants to do what you lovely people do or just follow their dreams in general? Well, okay, so the grant for this program came through the Regional Arts and Culture Center, or Council, sorry, in uh, Portland. And so there are regional arts councils all over the country. There are also foundations who are interested in funding programs like these. One of them is the Andy Warhol Foundation. <gasps> yes, did you know that? Oh, that gave me goosebumps. <laughs> so actually, the sec I think the second year of the program after I stopped filming, the Andy Warhol Foundation was involved in, in um, supporting that. So um, I would say, like, reach out to people who have done similar programs and find out where they are getting funding and ask, you know, get input about the best practices. Because, I mean, I spent a year watching the teachers, and, you know, this was a really brave thing for them to do, and it was a brave thing for the participants as well. I'm a former teacher, and so I, I have a lot of, I feel like I have a lot of insight into how to approach this in the best way possible. So I'm, I'm happy for people to reach out to me as well to ask questions. Awesome. And anything to piggyback on that? 
um, just, yeah, it's a huge step to be so vulnerable in front of people that are maybe going to just judge the hell out of you and do. And, um, you know, to hell with them. I want, I want to help the people on the streets come up. You know, and we're not going to do that behind hiding behind some skirt. You know, I'm out there to tell the truth. Homelessness isn't pretty. It isn't classy. It's ugly. And it's horrible. And there's a lot of trauma that happens. And so I can't give her kudos enough for helping me and for you guys having me here. This is the most special day of my life. You know, and I, anyway, yeah, I'm just so grateful to California for helping me and helping me to get the final to finally get the health care that I needed with my hearing impairment. Well, we want to support you guys in any way. Uh, the, the name of the film, one more time, social medias or websites, you got an audience right here. Live Out Loud. It's a feature documentary. Yes. Awesome. Well, God bless you guys. Best God of luck with everything. You. Thank Again, you so this much. is Tyrone Tan with the lovely. Sumaya. The kids call me Auntie Sumaya. And the beautiful. Melissa Gregory Rue. And you're watching Star Entertainment.